Welcome back guys to our Town Hall 11 Let's Play where today the laboratory has finished and that clone spell upgrade also finished between episodes. Now we're back and we're rocking a solid Town Hall 11 laboratory. We're going to be upgrading some stuff. It's going to be an amazing day. I've actually got a load of loot, so I do need to start spending some loot right now. First things first, though, I am trying out this attack strategy. Uh, it's a, it's basically a, a golem bow witch, right? It's beautiful lightning spells I've been generally using on either the enemy queen or the eagle or whatever. Whatever kind of makes sense at the time. And my queen is still upgrading, so we're not getting like a full example of how powerful this attack strategy is. But I'm having fun trying it out, especially now that I don't have to pay for the troops. Some of you may watch this in the future, and you're going to be like, what are you talking about, Klaus? Well, in the past, this army would have costed a, a crazy amount of Dark Elixir to use. Now it costs nothing but time, and it's amazing. So let's go and uh, bounce into the progress base. Actually, you know what? I can't do that because I haven't done it yet, and I don't feel like doing it now, so we're going to do it later. And let's just look at what needs to be spent, because we do need to spend some loot before we go do some raids. And I think army camps should be a top priority six million elixir that's a pretty good chunk and that's going to give me a large uh um a, a bunch of space in my inventory or my my storage so let's go ahead and upgrade this army camp guys six million elixir nine day upgrade bam and of course we still have three more of those to do so we'll see where we land later i also need to spend some gold and so let's go ahead and dump 2.5 million gold into those walls if i did this again how much would it be five million okay we're not gonna do that <laughs> We're not doing that, uh, but at least now, at least now we've spent some loot. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. I just, I just, uh, goodness. Okay. You know what? Let's do it. Five million gold. <laughs> Let me collect this treasure again. I'm, I'm getting a lot of loot because obviously I still have that bonus, but also CWL is happening. So I've, got, I've just got crazy amounts of loot. So, okay. Now let's go do some raids. Let's go smack some bases and see what we can do. Obviously, um, I'm going to try to find some bases that have a lot of loot, but also... I'm not like super competent with this attack strategy. I don't know how long I'll keep it, but for now it's doing the job and it's kind of fun. So let's um, find a base in a moment. I guess while I'm looking for a base, I do want to uh, mention something to you guys because I am working really, really hard on my cabin right now and it is where my wife and I will live hopefully by the end of the year sometime. Working super hard on that. And I have a deadline I'm trying to meet. So I'm going to be decreasing the amount of uploads that I'm going to be doing on the channel just for a short time. And I'm going to be sticking primarily with the Town Hall 11 Let's Play. So my Rush to Max is going to be kind of put on the shelf just temporarily. And same thing with my Town Hall 14. I'm going to focus on Town Hall 11 again just temporarily until things kind of settle down and I feel like I've caught up with the uh with the perceived schedule so just giving guys a heads up be right back once i find a base that i actually want to hit hmm nine hundred forty thousand gold that is not a bad number at all in fact i think it's a base that needs to be attacked right now yep that that's what i'm thinking so let's attack this base i'm gonna attack where the single inferno is not in my view so let's actually attack from let's attack from the top yeah yeah, yeah. all right so we'll go golems Three golems. I'm going to drop three wizards on the corners and two on the outside. A few bowlers just to kind of, you know, spread the love a little bit. And then there is my warden. Now, the lightning spell would be once again for like maybe an eagle artillery or something. But, the, but this is a town hall 10, so I don't have to worry too much about that. So I'm thinking I will probably drop the lightning spells right there on the heroes. Bam. Destroyed them both. See? beautiful so i've got some free spells i am going to be holding on to for just a moment let's actually quake the treasury area as well just going forward with that and i'm thinking i'm gonna pop the warden's ability yeah he's backtracking a bit so i'm gonna pop his ability there and i have one freeze so i'm gonna hold on to this one freeze until i get near this inferno tower because this one is about to get completely overwhelmed so i've got a poison spell i don't need i guess i could drop it on the clan castle because you never know when that's going to be hilarious to watch and uh now let's uh let's drop the king over here he's going to kind of tighten things up a little bit as everything kind of converges into the middle and hopefully breaks through to the backside so there you go easy three star and i am uh, do i have a power potion effect i think i do yeah so this is this is sort of like a town hall 11 attack like full-fledged i mean we got like golems with 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 crystals on their backs i mean how cool are we right 
And um, here in a moment, I'm actually going to be using the King's ability because I do want him to get through that Inferno Tower super duper fast. That'd be ideal. And all oh, the Warden's dying. Okay, let's let's freeze. And I think this Warden, I don't think this Warden's going to survive. Yeah, because he's about to get targeted again. Unless the Golem gets closer. Come on. Yes. Oh, that was perfect. Look at that. So the Golem steps up and saves the Warden. Oh, that was perfect. All right. And then now, you know what? I think the King's ability would, would be perfect right now as we just clean up the rest of these outside defenses and a drill i didn't even think about that that was an entire dark elixir drill that i was able to take advantage of that was amazing so that was about a two minute three star not bad and the loot with the loot bonus 980,000 gold quite a bit of elixir as well and 6800 dark elixir that is beautiful now i'm gonna request for some cc troops because i feel confident that this attack strategy really needs it. So I'm going to wait just a moment. Uh, in the meantime, think about what I may do with the fifth builder. Obviously, I'm going to be upgrading something in the laboratory. You guys will see what I'm going to do in a moment. Um, and then buildings wise, I mean, if you look at the buildings, if you, if you look at just the buildings, because I could obviously do a hero. I've got lots of dark elixir, right? Or I could upgrade the Grand Warden again. But honestly, with the army camps and the dark barracks and the barracks, I'm going to be able to stay super busy for a very long time. Or I could do something super disappointing and do this super cheap quick upgrade. The last new building that I still need to get for Town Hall 11. So I, I haven't decided how that's going to go down. In the meantime, though, let's reinforce myself. I've got a lot of metals, so might as well do that. And let's go smack another base. When I'm filming, I don't want to sit and wait too long. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be right back once I find another base that I feel like attacking. Yes. Wow. This is a triple nine. You guys have heard me talk about triple sevens because that's kind of a common thing. You know, 700,000 G and E, 7,000 Dark Elixir. But this is nine, nine, nine. Oh, baby. <laughs> Woo! Let's do this. All right. So I'm thinking uh, Eagle right off the bat would be fantastic. So let's actually go. Let's go uh, Golem, Golem, Golem. And then the witch combination, just like so. Perfect. So I'm going to get the wall record to hurry up and get through there too. Now, since I am going to be taking out the eagle super fast, I don't need to lightning the eagle. So I'm watching for the queen. Um, you know what? Let's drop a, well, we obviously we have to freeze that because I want my wall record to make it as far as possible. Let's drop the lightning spells on the queen. Of course, she walks away like a punk. Let's quake. Let's double quake, actually. And let's poison over the... Oh, the queen's already gone. What happened? I mean, that was awesome. I'm going to pop the warden's ability there. Um, Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. That was awesome, though. Okay, king, uh, if you would like to go toward the core, I think we're having a hard time. Um, but we did get that one star, and we've, we're have we definitely going to be able to gut the entire core. I'm just not sure if we're going to be able to wrap around the entire base. I mean, taking out that bomb tower there was huge because now my king doesn't have to go into the base. Well, I mean, I guess to get to those two, he's going to have to either way, but um, he's not going to have to go to all that side for the bomb tower. The uh, the witches or the bowlers or whoever's with him will have plenty of backup, so it's going to be fine. Um, looks like pretty much all the support troops are gone now. Let's just wait until he gets on the wall and pop his ability, but it is still a pretty solid attack considering... Was this base a lot stronger than the other one? I mean, it really wasn't. It was a new 11 like me. But um, the fact that we were just able to get nearly 900,000 of each. I mean, I'm barely missing. I'm missing 1,000 out of the drill and everything else is gone. So just gorgeous, dude. So that was a that was a pretty base. And if I had my queen, that could have very well have been a three star. Who knows? The queen's pretty, pretty influential in the attacks. So with a loot bonus, 860,000 gold over 800,000 elixir and 8,300 do the math, 8,300 Dark Elixir. That is not too shabby, y'all. Not too shabby at all. And with the star bonus, the gorgeous, beautiful star bonus that won't be here very much longer. I love it. So, treasury. I don't think I actually need to collect you. That's totally cool. Let's go into the lab. Actually, wait, 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 wait. wait. How much How much Dark Elixir is in there? 10,000. Okay, I might, I might need to collect it for the Dark Elixir. I'm not sure. Let's look at the troop options here and i'm actually going to look at dark elixir specifically because that power potion is about to go away and if i'm going to continue using like bowlers or witches that'd be great i think 
it would actually serve me best because I'm not sure what attack strategy I'm going to settle on. I'm not sure if I want to keep using this attack strategy to go with hogs. And I know this isn't normally the first lab upgrade, but I can do amazing things with hogs and I haven't done it in a long time. I think giving myself the advantage of actually upgrading the hogs would be cool. It'd, it'd be awesome. It'd be nice to have that option. And now that I don't, I don't have to spend Dark Elixir training them, oh man, this is just good stuff. So I'm going to upgrade the hog. That's a seven day upgrade or eight day if you round it up. 100,000 Dark Elixir and I've got better things to do with that builder. So it works out for me. Bam. Who guessed that this would be my first lab upgrade at Town Hall 11? If anybody guessed the hog, if you really did, let me know in the comments. If you didn't, let me know what you guessed because I might draw some ideas for, for, for number two. You know what I'm saying? So the next thing I want to look at, guys, is um, the next builder. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to use the builders, right? So let's look at these. I think if I upgrade a few of these, I can upgrade and max out my gold usage. There we go. So the gold's done. So obviously I'm going to be using Elixir and obviously I'm going to do army camp, right? I can do barracks and stuff later. Not a problem. The army camp is king plus five troop capacity each. It adds up and it's amazing. So definitely want to get those army camps going as quickly as possible. I'm going to have two of them going at the same time, nine days for both. That's a long wait. That's longer than the hog upgrade in the lab. That's insane. All right, six mil elixir, bam. And I'll hold on to the extra for, well, actually now I don't have to hold on to, wow. I don't need to hold on to extra elixir for armies and spells and stuff. That is insane. I'm still getting used to that, guys. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. So anyway, guys, that's it for me today at this episode of our Tunnel 11 Let's Play. Um, we're super stoked to be here and I just am super excited about just everything that goes into Town Hall 11. Remember, we're gonna be focusing primarily on Town Hall 11 for a few weeks probably um while i get back for refocused on my schedule and also don't forget that if you guys decide to buy something in the game i highly recommend that you go free to play that's what all the cool people these days are doing go free to play don't even buy the gold pass don't buy nothing that's what i'm gonna do but if you just so happen to have to buy it or really 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 want to buy something in the game don't forget to use code klaus um the way you do that is of course you hit that little white c at the top right hand side of the screen and then you can enter code Klaus right there. And if it doesn't work, make sure you're spelling it right. K-L-A-U-S. <laughs> and then you get that little green check mark right there on the top right. And then you are good to go. So, uh, guys, that's all for me. Thanks for tuning in. And I will see you all next time.